Today we're going to look at the collage studio. Collage is a fancy French word for cutting and gluing. So there'll be a lot of cool papers over here for you to cut and glue. Let's take a look. So we've been using this cart with the white papers and some of the recycled papers, and we're gonna continue to use that, especially with a lot of the things that are smaller or practice things. Okay, but over here we have a bunch of fun colors. And here are some papers that are already cut and sorted by color. Okay, so let's start down here at the bottom. It says, cut these papers. Here's some old magazine papers, and um, some of these are like some old books that I cut up for you. You can look through here and you're welcome to cut any of these papers. This is the same, but they're specifically space or flight since we're an aerospace magnet. Here, uh, we've got smaller papers sorted by the colors. Okay, so these are the papers you're gonna look for first. When you're looking for, let's say if you want to cut something that's purple for your project, you're gonna look in this purple bin first. Okay, you're not gonna come over here to the big pieces of purple paper because those will be used for like the background, okay? So always look at these color bins first when you're cutting out little pieces. You'll see some are different textures. Um, there's some, some, if I ever find shiny stuff, I like to put it in there, okay? These papers are bigger, okay? I wanna take a look over at this sign right here. This says no, yes. So do you see the difference here? If we were to cut out, let's say if you wanted to cut out that little circle there, don't go right into the middle of this big piece of paper. Now this whole big piece of paper is wasted. Use a small piece of paper and cut in the corner of it, not in the middle. Somebody could still use this even, um, and we could still use some of this, but as far as a big piece of paper, now it's kind of, um, just a piece of a scrap paper. Okay, so let's take a look over here. We've got some really fun washi tape. This is kind of more of like a, a decorative tape. Okay, and we've got some glue sponges. So to use the glue sponge, you open it up and Once you got it open, we don't pick up the sponge, but we dip our things into the glue sponge, okay? Now, if you don't put the cap back on, they will dry out. So gotta make sure the cap's back on. And we've got some crazy scissors, which make sure to put those back here when you're done. Those are, can be really fun. Up here, I've got glue bottles if you really need more glue, but usually you should use glue sticks or those glue sponges. Um, hole punchers and the big scissors. These are just for the third and fourth graders. Okay, over here I've got some more tape and staplers. And let's look at these drawers. We've got some stencils. These are different circle stencils, different shape stencils. All those other stencils are still in the drawing studio. Um, here's some alphabet stencils. Okay, try to make sure you put them back in there when you're done. Um, just some interesting smaller collage things are in this top one. Oh, looks like there's a tape in there. We'll put that back over here. There's stickers. And there are alphabet stickers. Okay, so just try to make sure you get things back in the right drawers when you're done. Over here are some collage books. So you might remember this author, Eric Carle. All of his works are done by collage. There's some books about collage, and then there's just some, um, here's a Henry Matisse, he's a collage artist. And then some of these are books that the author or illustrator used collage to make their work. So you can look through there. So this is the collage studio. 
And let me show you one more thing up here. These are just different paper techniques. These are kind of still collage, but this is more if you want to make it three-dimensional. You can come study some of this stuff, different ways to fold and glue the papers so they become three-dimensional. All right, so enjoy the collage studio. And of course, this is your art studio, so we all will take care to clean it up when you're done. Have fun.